BTEC GMRS Pro video coming up. Stay tuned. All right, so we're back up on the bench here. You can see that what comes in the box is, is fairly simple. Um, you get the unit itself, you do get a belt clip. I went ahead and put that on. Uh, just letting you guys know, that is a pain in the butt to put on. Get a pair of tweezers, hold the screw with the tweezers and screw it in, way, way easier. You get the battery. This is a BP26, it's a 2600 milliamp lithium ion battery at 7.4 volts. Pretty beefy, pretty thick battery. You get the BTEC manual, and you also get this tool, which I have off site here, which helps you put the belt clip on. Uh, very good tool, actually. I really, really like this little screwdriver, so, so that may come in handy. All right, let's go ahead and get everything cleared off. I'll get the battery into it, powered up, and I'll show you what this baby does. All right, so this is the BTEC GMRS Pro in all of its glory. Uh, actually, for anybody that's interested, the way that the battery comes off is it's just a clip underneath here. You pull that out and you slide it down with the other fingers. I'm gonna try to get you the information here. Here we go. So this is the GMRS Pro. It is five watt output. We will test that. Uh, there's the FCC ID for you and the serial number in case you're curious. You'll notice right off the bat when I started up, um, way different. You have a few buttons at the bottom, you have a screen in the center, and then you have your speaker at the top. Now, one thing with this screen I'd like to show you is if you have a KG UVPX or KG UV9GX, um, you'll notice that the screens for these are very similar. Um, different design as far as what they use on them, but the directional uh, amount of space, exactly the same. So if you've used one, you're gonna be used to this screen. Um, Software wise though, you're gonna notice is a little bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on this radio a bit. Bring it back up and you'll notice right at the default screen here, you have your GMRS channel that you're listening to or monitoring. Um, and then you have your GPS information, which it's still starting to come out, there we go. So it'll tell you your direction, your height, your time, um, and then you've got some other icons at the top down here, which are, you'll notice there's a download icon that's for the data. You've got your icon for your signal, your high and low power, and you've got your icon for your audio right next to it. So to start off, I wanna look at some of the buttons that they have. Uh, so we're gonna start off on the left side of the screen here. You're gonna notice that you have a push to talk button. You have your two programmable buttons. We'll discuss those more in the software. You've got several multi-function buttons on the front. So you've got an up and down, which allows you to go up and down if you're dual channel watching or going through the menu. You've got two function buttons that will pop up on the lower part of the screen and tell you what they are. You've got your back button, which will always bring you back to the main screen. And then you've got your menu button, which is this one on the left bottom here. So if you push that one, that's gonna bring you into the menu settings. You'll notice right off the bat, you've got FM radio, you've got your signaling settings, radio settings, sound settings, display settings, um, pairing, that's gonna be for the Bluetooth that we're gonna do here in a minute, your NOAA, your GPS status, your compass, and then your overall status. So this is the overall status of the device right now. It's at 100%, of course, 8.4 volts, running firmware 5.3-30, and that's a PN number. I'm not too sure what the PN number is. Um, and, and it's a very simple menu, uh, so I'm going to take you through a few of them here right now. So we've got your FM radio, that of course is going to put you into your FM radio, you can turn it on and off. You've got your signaling, so your signaling, this is going to be for your APRS. So you can send a message, you can call, you can check people, you can see who's nearby. So if you hit OK on that, you'll notice it sent a little digi packet out. Um, it's going to look for anybody that's nearby, and then you've got your signaling settings. Allows you to send your ID, your position, allow people to check you, and so forth. Um, a lot of this stuff you're not going to be able to use unless you have a second radio. Um, I did buy just this one because I wanted to get a review out on it, but really, if you're going to be using these, you really need a pair of radios. Um, now you've got your radio settings, so you've got your dual watch you can turn on. Um, it is off right now. I'll go ahead and turn it on, so I'll show you what it looks like. 
you got your scanning, you got your talk around. So talk around is uh, basically the same as the Motorola's. Um, if you ever use the Motorola XTS 2500s, you know that, that they can be repeater programmed. If you don't want to talk to the repeater, you can enable talk around that allows you to um, basically turn into simplex mode without using a different channel. You got your power, you got your channel groups. So in here, you've got several channel groups. Uh, each one can, I believe, hold 16 channels, if I remember correctly, uh, for a total of 196 channels. I'll have to double check on that. I'll put it up here for you. You got your squelch level, your transmit time, your PTT follow, which is basically going to be your beep. Um, your talk elimination, which is, uh, or tail elimination, excuse me, which is the tail squelch at the end of it. Um, and then that's pretty much it for the radio settings. You've got your sound settings, which is your speaker. You can set your speaker to on, auto, or off. Um, your mic gain, your Bluetooth mic gain. Now, they do not have the accessories out for these yet, but there is a wireless Bluetooth mic, PTT mic, that's supposed to be coming out for this. Um, once we it comes out, we will get that to, uh, to review for you guys. Um, but then you got your keep connected, which is for your Bluetooth mic, so it'll keep it connected the whole time. Um, and then tone. Tone is your beeps when you're pushing the buttons. So like right now I have it turned off. If I was to turn it on, hit return, you start getting beeps. If I wasn't getting a, a transmission, which is fine. Um, I, I don't like putting the beeps on anyway, so we'll keep those off. You've got your display settings. Um, this is your brightness, your screen timeout. I have it set to five minutes right now just because I'm trying to do this video for you guys. And then you've got your time zone, uh, which allows you to set it in GMT plus or minus. Um, so here in the central, we're GMT minus five right now. Going down to pairing, we'll take a look at that again in a second. Like I said, you've got NOAA. Um, so you can scan for NOAA, which will allow you to receive NOAA. Uh, which we're on WX2 here in, in the Texas area. Um, you can change your weather channel. So again, here I've got it set to default of, of WX2, um, which is important because you've got WX alerts. Weather channel will send out an alert tone or a Hertz tone, uh, which will allow your radio to monitor for. And if it sees that tone, it'll open your squelch and it'll turn to that channel and allow you to listen to whatever the radio alert is, such as or tornado or etc. cetera. Um, I'll put a link at the top uh, around here somewhere. Uh, somewhere here. Uh, I'll put a link at the top and, and with some more information from that, but it's a very good feature to have. And then you've got your WX monitor. This is just if you're wanting to listen to um, the, the radio channel. Which we're going to turn off because I've got a lot of static here. So yeah, so that's your NOAA. Um, you've got your GPS status, which I'm going to blank out this because I don't want you guys to see where I'm at. <laughs> You've got your compass, which was going to tell you your degree heading. Um, you can calibrate it and so forth. And then just the radio status again. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, again, there's a couple other functions like this. No information, I'm not too sure, and no team information. I believe that's to have to do with the APRS. I just don't have another radio, so hopefully within a few weeks I can get a second radio here. We can test out a lot of the APRS functions. Uh, BTEC, if you're listening, if you wouldn't mind donating a radio to this channel so we can do better... Uh, testing and get more users on board with this uh, contact me i am 100 percent on board uh, would love to to do more of your products this is an amazing little uh little <laughs> gmrs radio i mean this is really the first ones with the exception of the motorola's that have data capabilities built in so i'm excited to see how far this is going to go um, one thing i didn't mention it does have a headset jack um, it uses m1 not k1 there are some M1 stuff out there. I don't know if it works with this, uh, but BTEC is coming out with an M1 to K1 adapter, so you can use all of your standard Baofeng accessories with it. Now, one thing I know I'm going to get asked, and I've already been asked, is the antenna. Now, per FCC rules, you cannot have a removable antenna on a GMRS radio that is data enabled um, or used to transmit data. I recommend keeping it on there, stay on the FCC rules. I do not recommend removing it. However, um, I did find with a little bit of uh, heat and very little emphasis, the glue comes right off. So you can see, I mean, I've got no residue on there from what I pulled off. You can even see a little bit closer there. You can see it's just no residue. And this is just a standard UHF, VHF antenna. Um, the reason why I did this was twofold. One, 
We're gonna test the power output of that in here in a second. Two, I do not like stock antennas. Um, some are good, some are bad. I like to use ones like this is an HYS antenna, it has a BNC to SMA female connector. Just allows you to quickly attach the antenna. And then this is actually a telescoping antenna. So I like to use things like this a little bit better. Um, you can also use GMRS tuned antennas. Uh, we got the Nagoya 771G, a um, little bit smaller, probably not the best to use for full UHF VHF scanning, but if you're only using this for GMRS, the Nagoya 77, or excuse me, 701 and 771G would be perfect uh, for this radio. For now though, we'll just use the stock antenna, uh, which I'll put back on. Real quick, I wanted to go into, before we get to the software, I want to show you the power output. Uh, a lot of radios that come with up to 5 watts, like, such as like a lot of the handy talkies, um, vary on the channel that you're on. So if you're on a low channel or a high channel, it's usually higher or lower, uh, you know, so forth. So I, I really wanted to get a good look at what this one can do. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. We're going to go ahead and get this up to the signal strength. We're going to zoom back in on the radio real quick, just so you can see... I'm going to put this first one on channel one. So we're going to hit select. Uh, oops. We'll keep this one on 22. So we'll put the second channel on GMRS 22. We're going to put the first one on GMRS one. So you'll see top channel there now is GMRS one. Bottom one is GMRS 22. We are also on high power for the GMRS 01. We are high power for GMRS 02. So GMRS01, we're gonna go ahead and key up. I'm gonna pause the video real quick and identify. I went ahead and identified. We're gonna go ahead and key up here on channel one. And it's a little hard to see, but we're getting 5.2 watts. Now we're gonna go down to GMRS22. We're gonna key up, 5.2 watts. So on high for a five watt radio, it is putting out 5.2 watts on both the low and the high ends of the GMRS band. So now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set this radio to low power. All right. So now you can see we're on GMRS 01 and 02 or 21. We're gonna put that back up to 22. So 01 and 22, low here. We're gonna go ahead into the radio. Radio settings, I'm gonna change that one to low as well. All right, so back up to GMRS 01, keying up. 3.5, or sorry, 0.3.5. So 0.35, 0 0.36. Let's go to GMRS 22, key up. And 0 0.39, 0 0.35, so yeah, about, looks like a little bit less than half a watt, probably about, about 0.4 watts um, on low, which is really good to conserve. Now, just FYI, you guys, I am shooting this into a dummy load, um, in case anyone asks. I'm not just spurring it everywhere, but that is amazing. That is an amazing, that a, a GMRS, I mean, fairly low-end radio, I mean, this thing's $140, is putting out five full watts. And now if you're using this for repeaters and stuff and they're close, I mean, you don't ever need to do the full five watts, but hey, you've got it if you need it. All right, so now let's go ahead and get this antenna back on here. We're gonna go ahead back on with the stock antenna and turn this thing back on. All right, we'll get this set up here. All right, so give me a few minutes. I'm gonna get this thing set up on the bench with the app and I will be right back with you. All right, so we're back up on the bench here. Um, you can see I've got a Android device here and we're gonna go ahead and install the BTEC programmer. Uh, this is the BTEC GMRS programmer. There is an iOS and an Android version uh, that you can download for this. Uh, full disclosure, the Android version does have some additional features over the iOS version. Um, I will post a screenshot here of a couple different ones as this is, is downloading. 
Um, that way you can see what the differences are. But yes, keep that in mind. If you're using an Android, you're gonna have a little bit more functionality right now due to the limitations on iOS. So we've got the, didn't want it to go to sleep. So we've got the app downloaded. We're gonna go ahead and open it. This app uses your device microphone, etc. cetera. Uh, read those, you can accept them and choose allow or not allow. All right, so you've got your menu when you first come in here. So this is what you see when you come into the first screen. Um, it's got a bunch of different icons on the side, some features, so we'll go through um, some of them. So this is your satellite. If you click satellite Google, you can see your satellite Google. Uh, you can do your terrain. You can do open topo map. Um, I believe there's one more on the iOS version. I'll double check. We'll just put it on Google for now. You can do your location. So that's going to tell you where your location is, which I'm going to blur. You can add or remove favorites. You can show your recent. Um, so this will show you like your recent locations and tracks and so forth. You've got your track recording. So this is one of the things that the iPhone does not have. I'm a little upset about. Um, you can hit start recording here. And if you're connected to your device, it'll record and you can add marks of where you're at, call it a title, and it's gonna record it for you. That's gonna show up in the information here. Let's get that turned back down. Uh, you can use voice to chat, um, which is great. I, I think voice to chat is really good. Um, you've got your text messages, which will show your messages, your members, and then of course your map for them. You can zoom in and out. And then over here, you've got your menu. So this is gonna allow you to do your audio connections, your MDC monitor, your Morse code, your DTMF for your tools. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pair a new device. Now to pair that device, what you have to do is you have to come into your menu here Go down to pairing, you wanna hit okay, you're gonna see the check mark on. Hit walkie talkie. Hit allow. It's gonna turn on your Bluetooth if it's not on and it's gonna start looking for it. We're gonna hit bind on the GMRS Pro. It's gonna ask us if we wanna pair with it, hit yes. And there we go. So now it's all paired, it's pulling all the channel information that you can use to edit and so forth. We're gonna close that. All right, so now we've got it paired with the, with the device. We've got everything set up for it. It's all imported everything. You're gonna notice on the map here, you're, you're seeing GMRS01 and GMRS22. Um, that is gonna to correspond to what you have active in your radio. And you can switch easily between them. So like if I'm on my phone and I hit GMRS01, you notice that it goes up to GMRS01. If I hit GMRS22, it'll go down to 22. Now I am receiving some data on some of these, so that's why you're getting this information popping in. Uh, but like I said, you can go back and forth. You can see when you're receiving. Now, if you click on this menu here, this is where you do all your editing. Um, so there's gonna be several menus in here that you can do, uh, or sorry, several settings. So like if we we're on GMRS say 01, we're gonna hold down that, and that's gonna allow you to edit your settings. So you can do your transmit power. We'll put it back to high your frequency, what you want it to be. You can disable TX, you can mute it. Uh, you can do CTCSS co codes, uh, codes from here. Everything that you can do on the radio, you can do from your app. I know what you guys are thinking right now, ATAC. Um, I've been looking for a good radio to use with ATAC. I have a feeling this is gonna give it to us. So this is gonna allow us GMRS users to have some sort of ATAC functionality without having to be fully licensed users. And this this is why I'm loving this radio so much. Um, you can send text messages, you can send locations. Um, I, I can guarantee you eventually ATAC's gonna probably be integrated with this to where you could use this directly with ATAC. Um, but we're having ATAC-like functionality on the app and it's just gonna get better. Uh, BTEC's gonna keep developing this app hopefully uh, and be able to give us some more of the features that we could use. Now one of the features that this does not have that the main um, unit that this is based off of, which I'll, I'm gonna put a, some information down below in the t description for you. Um, this is a UHF VHF radio that's available in China and it does have network capability. So you are able to connect this with your phone and use your phone as an eye gate for your radio and allow you to transmit hundreds and hundreds of miles away 
to someone else with another software running with the iGate settings put in and be able to use it. Now, the problem with this right now is the site that you, that does that uh, is all in Chinese. I can't figure it out. And it uses WeChat to be able to talk to them to get your codes. I don't trust that enough right now. So as of right now, we're going to exclude the network connectivity from this, but that is available in this radio should BTEC decide to support it and bring it to us. So let's, let's please hope that they do. Uh, again, you can make some ad other adjustment settings. You can do single channel or dual channel. This is where you can put that one or two channels on there. You can switch low to high power very fast, scan. You could turn on your FM radio on and off, which is great. Um, you could do talk around really quick, which is great. So it's, it's a very good program. Um, you can import your channels. There's your FM radio again. This allows you to do your volume settings, your connection settings. So we'll go ahead and look at that. There's our alerts for our weather, so forth that we talked about before. Uh, we'll go back and we'll go to scan. There's where you can scan for CT, CSS, DCS codes and frequencies. Um, fat fingers connection, man, man, I'm never going to get to it. Connection management, this allows you to scan for any other Bluetooth devices that you want to use. Um, so you can use a Bluetooth headset with this. It will not be used to PTT, so you still have to push the PTT to talk, but you can use Bluetooth to listen and talk back to. Um, I have some Apple Wife, uh, earbuds I'm going to try this on, some other devices that, are, that I'll try it on, so I will update you guys. Uh, you got your channels and your groups. Um, so these are the groups and the channels, so you can import from the radio. That's where all the, the channels, the GMRS channels are in the radio. Um, you can import from other places. You could click new. Um, this will give you a new channel manager with new channels. Again, you can have up to, I believe it's at 196. You've got your device status. There's your firmware, so 0.53. Wireless uh, PTT and your battery voltage. The wireless PTT, again, like I said, that is going to be coming. Uh, but once you have that, you're going to be able to see that here. Uh, and then the contact us in the manual. So it's, it's fairly simple. Um, here's where you got your audio connection. So you can do Vox. You could do MDC monitor. Which I'm assuming MDC monitor is going to be for the data connection. Let's see if I can do a scan out for people. device is still new so it's all it's all uh, still new for me too let's see if we can search for nearby people anything anything yeah we're not getting anything on there so I'm not sure what the MDC monitor does I will double check for you you've got Morse code so you can start monitoring for Morse code and be able to uh, find out what it is and you got DTMF decode so yeah I mean pretty feature rich radio uh, it's got a lot to offer to it if you're looking for a new GMRS radio and you want some more advanced features, um, this might be the one for you. Uh, it, it's very good radio. It's not the best one. I mean, it's made really good. I like the quality of it. It's got the waterproofing. Um, I haven't submerged it yet. <laughs> I kind of want to, but I'm afraid. Um, if I do get a second one, I will submerge one of them and just do a warranty on it if need be. Um, but it is full IP67 waterproof. Uh, so you are supposed to be able to submerge this. It, it's a great, great little device, man. Uh, I am excited. I think GMRS is a very good service. I am studying for my technician. I don't have it yet, um, but I am very heavily involved in the GMRS. I have the UV9GX, or yeah, UV9G, excuse me. You got the UV9G. I've got some several other ones. Here's one from Redivis um, that I like. I really do like this one too. This one's review is forthcoming. I just, I wanted to get the BTEC in first, uh, but this is another very good GMRS radio, um, especially with the new firmware update that allows you to change the wide and narrow. Anyway, we're back to BTEC. Um, yeah, man. Anyway, we're back to BTEC. Uh, if you're looking for a good radio for about 140 bucks, man, check this out. Um, it, it's not going to be the UV, uh, you know, 9G. It's not going to be the UV uh, 8G or excuse me, I, I can't remember what they call it on on a by two way radius. UV 8H GMRS version. Uh, you know, it doesn't have all those advanced features, but it's got enough advanced features. Plus, you get GPS out of the box. You get tracking out of the box. You get, you know, you have a clock on there that's, you know, always updated by by the GPS. You can see where your friends are. You can talk to them off grid. 
this phone is actually not um, internet connected per se. It, it runs on the Wi-Fi, but I, I chose this phone specifically to have full off-grid communications. Uh, so when grid goes down, I'm using this radio. This phone does not have a connection on its own with the exception of what it's receiving and sending through the radio. Uh, so trying to make a full off-grid, uh, you know, survival type radio, this thing would be amazing. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I, I think I've rambled on enough today about this. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please thank you, you know, for, for watching, like, and subscribe. Um, I really enjoy doing these videos for you. I've been ill for the last month, so I, I wasn't really get to be able to get any much. I've been ill for the last month, so I haven't really been able to get many videos out. But I wanted to get you guys excited with this one and, and get the channel rolling. So please, guys, give me that thumbs up. Subscribe. Let me know anything else that you want to see. And uh, hopefully B-Tech will see this. Maybe we can get a second radio and really get the features and the functionality uh, out for you guys so you can see what it does and make an informed purchase for yourself. Anyway, guys, this is Alan from Off Grid Technology. Thank you guys again, 73. Have a wonderful week.